Welcome back to the Meredith Show. We have a real holiday treat today because Heather is back with us from Harbor Chase of Columbia, our senior care expert. And we always want to talk about our seniors and share some love. And as I introduce Heather, this week on the Meredith Show, we have a treat. Heather is no longer officially a Burkett. She is Mrs. Heather Emmer, right? Welcome, Woo! Heather. Yes, yes, I am, Meredith, and thank you so much. Thank you. I am recently married. Um, I married uh, my sweetheart of eight years um, on November 5th, um, so this is our first time to chat, um, and I am a married woman. So. All right, we love that. <laughs> Congratulations to you, and in the spirit of celebration, first let's start at the very beginning. You are a senior care expert who's been a regular on the program, but there might be some people who are just tuning in for the first time. So you're broadcasting. I'm in Las Vegas, as you can see, sunny Las Vegas coming in through the window here. And Heather is coming in from uh, my beloved town in South Carolina, Columbia, where, yes. yes, you're located inside a community called Harbor Chase of Columbia, where assisted living is the name of the game, and you have lots of and lots of very, really, really cool seniors who are about to enjoy some major holiday fun. So tell us a little bit about your property and who, who you have as ideal residents there. Okay, sure. Um, and so, yes, yeah, so here at Harbor Chase of Columbia, um, we are an assisted living community, um, and we do provide care um, for those who have uh, challenges with memory. Um, and so some do have challenges with memory. Um, others have some challenges um, with physical um, conditions. But we're here to help anyone and everyone. Um, and we're actually not just a senior community um, because you can be at any age and, and need assistance. Um, so that's what overall we're here to help um, and just to be a, just to be a friend. Um, but with that being said, uh, you know, we know we have uh, uh, holidays that come and go and, and this is one's home. So we celebrate here just as we would out in our, you know, two bedroom apartment somewhere else. Um, we do the same thing here. Well, that's a good point. You know, this time of year is filled with festive fun, but it can also be really hard for people sometimes who don't have a lot of family, but not at Harbor Chase. You go above and beyond to make it such a special season. And I'm actually a little bit sad that I'm not going to be there with you this year in person. Because I have had the good fortune of seeing so many wonderful concerts and enjoying such amazing music. So let's start out with your schedule because a lot is happening. And it's yes. beginning this week. So let's tell our viewers and, and let's let people know that this is open to the public. So if you want your heart warmed or you're looking to come out and enjoy some caroling, um, you have an event for that. And yes. so not just family residents, but again, you're inviting the public. And so for those who need to know, you're located on Fair Forest Drive. Is that correct? So it's 120 Fair Forge Road. Road is um, it, it is Columbia. It is Columbia, uh, South Carolina, with 29212 area code, uh, zip code, excuse me. Um, we are um, actually fairly close to Columbia at a mall um, just off of Harbison Boulevard, um, about a mile off of Harbison Boulevard. Okay, great. So let's, without further ado, let's tell people at home how special and exceptional your continued, and they really are continued events are, beginning this season. Tell me about it. What's coming up? Yes. Oh my goodness. So uh, to continue kicking off the holiday season here in our community, we are having the Holly Jolly Christmas Carolers. Um, there is a church group from Providence Baptist Church um, coming to join us this Thursday. Uh, December the 8th at 7 o'clock, uh, 7 in the afternoon, in the, in the evening, um, and we're going to enjoy uh, just a great mix of holiday music, um, some really beautiful renditions of the music, and some of your favorite um, holiday sing-alongs, um, and just one, one, one key point, um, this is actually um, the church that um, I that I am a member of, and I will be singing in that choir Thursday Oh, evening. wow. Will you be wearing your antlers? <laughs> we can't, you know, that's yeah. an elephant in the room. We can't let that go. <laughs> and I have the flyer up on the screen for viewers who are watching from yes. all over the world, and these people are decked out, and I guess you're a member of the Providence Baptist Church Choir, is that right? 
That is correct. That is correct. I, I've been enjoying um, my membership and singing, singing carols with them. Um, and we've had a chance to come out last, last year. Um, and so we wanted to continue and do it again this year. Very nice. So we want to encourage people who love to sing or just enjoy getting into the holiday spirit that this week at 7 p.m. this Thursday, December the 8th, they can do so. Okay, so moving right along, we have another event coming up fairly quickly. I mean, it's just the fun does not stop. The fun does not stop. It is go, 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 just as the holiday season normally is. Um, but that next event, uh, just to give a quick highlight, that next one will be taking place on uh, not this coming Tuesday, but the following Tuesday. Uh, that is the 13th of December at 1.30. There is the elementary school choir from Ben Lippin Elementary. They will be joining us with approximately 70, 70 students, 70 students are going to be coming and singing for us. And woo, the halls will be filled with joy. I have to say, not only is it fun to hear the music, it's so sweet and special to see the children interacting with the seniors. Doesn't that warm your heart? I know there are a lot of great events. That's one of my favorites. It really is. And, and that's just something that it, it never ceases, never ceases to bring joy to our resident spaces, um, no matter what pain or, or any kind of any, anything that may be you know, bothering them that day. They, they love and adore children. Well, we love the holiday spirit and the variety of things that you're opening up Harbor Chase of Columbia to for the public and your residents to enjoy. And coming up on December 15th, your third event will be kicking off, and that's your Holiday Bazaar. Tell us about it. Yeah, sure. Um, so our Holiday Bazaar is more of your holiday market. Uh, you have an opportunity to come in, to browse, to shop for the holidays. Um, we have a couple different vendors that will be joining us. Um, another one has recently joined, so I'll, I'll present that update. Um, but, um, for example, um, a clothing line, uh, LuLaRoe, um, is a famous clothing line that seems to be pretty popular, have very comfortable clothing. And um, there is another vendor um, with some jewelry that is going to join us, um, some really nice jewelry. Uh, and numerous other things. Um, we are in, um, we are recruiting an art gallery to come out and, and have different pieces of artwork. Um, and so there's just a great opportunity. Even the Harvest and Rec Center, the Harvest and Rec Center, um, the numerous opportunities they provide for this community, uh, things that take place there, and um, outings that they have scheduled. Um, and we're, we're, we are a part of that Harvest and uh, community. So I wanted to invite them to come out and join us. Well, there's so much fun to be had, and uh, who doesn't love a nice little holiday market where you can shop and celebrate and have a festive time for this time of year? And again, there is so much going on. We are not done. In fact, um, I'm having a slight technical glitch, you know, just when you want to share a graphic, sometimes it freezes on you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to share on social media and on Facebook, just below this post, we're going to put all the information, a summary of the dates and times for all of these flyers for you to click on for all the details. So don't you worry, we will have even more coming up in detail. But before we close out, and as we are running out of time, we want to be sure to talk about the fourth event this, this <laughs> holiday season. Go for it, Heather. All right. And um, so last but not least, uh, we are having our first annual Harbor Chase Festival of Trees. Ooh. We have... Uh, We've reached out and we have had just a, just a, a great response um, to several um, agencies that, um, that you know, um, uh, provide their services um, to some of our residents, some home health agencies, even hospice services, um, and that in which they are bringing in trees, they're decorating these trees, um, and we will have an opportunity to go around and look at all of the trees and and highlight our favorites, and, and we will end the evening with um, uh, piano side caroling sing-alongs, and it will be a spectacular event on Sunday, December 18th, uh, beginning at 6 o'clock. That's right, and I was able to pull that up on my screen, so thank you, everybody at home, for being forgiving for some of the glitches that we have technically, because it's a beautiful flyer, and 
Uh, tell people who've never been to a Festival of Trees what they can expect when they arrive. Because I know not everybody's been to a Festival of Trees. Oh, I know, I know. Um, and so just to kind of help uh, get us more into that spirit, um, you know, they'll be sharing of decorating Christmas trees when, you know, we were young and, and uh, you know, the, just the, the spirit and happiness that it brings um, and light refreshments, you know, with eggnog and mm. cookies, apple cider, um, and just sitting around and sharing those stories um, and enjoying the, the trees. Yes, and I, I noticed that in addition to all that good stuff, you'll have some live entertainment as well, so the music never stops. <laughs> <laughs> People coming out can, can really not only see all the splendor, but really experience with all their senses the fun. So uh, we want to thank you so much for showcasing all of the amazing things that you do that are quite exceptional. And, um, oh, there we go. Hold on, I'm flying through. So just a reminder that coming up this Thursday on December 8th at seven o'clock, everybody can enjoy. If you wanna recap, first up, Thursday, December 8th at seven o'clock, Christmas Carolers coming in from Providence Baptist Church. And if you'd like to take it from there and give a quick summary to our viewers, I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Sure, um, and the following Tuesday, December the 13th, um, at 1.30 p.m., we'll, we will have the elementary school choir from Ben Lippin Elementary joining us um, with the, the famous um, holiday carols. Um, and touching base uh, quickly after that will be um, Thursday, December 15th uh, from 3.30 to 6.30. That will be a, the holiday bazaar, um, your holiday market, um, lots of um, tasting of sweets also, um, and just, you know, fun holiday cheer with family and public, of course. Um, and then last but not least, one of the other big events will be our Festival of Trees um, in the community. And so it also gives an opportunity to come and, and check the community out and, and scope out the different areas in, in, inside our community. Very good. Well, Heather, it's always a pleasure. And most importantly, we want people to know that if they want to get in on the fun, if they want to learn a little bit about what it is to be a part of an assisted living community, what mom and dad or a loved one can expect. This is a wonderful way to introduce it to your family, friends, or anybody who may be in need. And Heather is here for you for answering all those questions that you may need to know. She's just a phone call away. So again, we're posting that number right underneath this segment so you can be continued and know that Heather will be there for you, whether it's a tour, a meal, or a wonderful holiday event that you can enjoy. She is there for you. Heather, I have to say, next time I see you, I'm getting myself some antlers, too. I'm feeling a little sad. I'm loving your holiday uh, spirit. It's going strong at Harbor Chase of Columbia. It is. It really is. And I, and, and I love to inspire others. So that's so much fun, Meredith. And I've had a delightful um, chat on our, on our segment today. Thank you so much. Well, thanks. We'll see you very soon because, as always, lots happening and we want to be in the know. Thank you so much for watching The Meredith Show. And be sure to log on to The Meredith Show Facebook page for updates from the residents at Harbor Chase of Columbia and all our friends and fans. Thank you so much for watching. Thank, Thank you. you.